racing away from that 1600 metre marker and they got them away to a good beginning. Out well as Straw Market from an inside jump is right there and Pomodora is up there in the early part of the race and Patala Palace going around runners now to be right up there with the leader and Patala Palace has gone to the lead as they move their way to the 1200 metre marker has it a half a length. Pomodoro is racing on its inside. Two more away to Straw Market is up in the third. Then it's Mushrek in the fourth position, followed by Frontino Gold as five lengths off the leader. Tandra Gee is back there at the fence. Golden Chateau is racing in behind those, and they're about seven lengths off the leaders too. Then it's Beacon Flair who's racing on the outside of Merhi, and they race about eight or nine lengths off the leader as they become homeward bound in the Investic Dingons, and now they have 800 to go. And it's Patala Pal he goes two, three lanes clear. Pomodoro is racing in the second spot. Straw Market is in behind those. Then we go back to Tandragi is going through on the inside of runners. Followed by Mushrek who's got three lanes to make up. Silver Fly is also further back in the field as well. He can play as further back. But Tyler Palace under the pressure now. And yes, Silver Flyer who's looking to run on in the red. Straw Market is there in the white colours as well. Tandragi there too. Silver Flyer on the outside. White line fever looking to get going as well. It's open, Silver Flyer in the red colours, now the leader with 100 to go from Straw Market, then White Line Fever further back, but it's Silver Flyer who's into the closing stages clear by a good couple of lengths, and Silver Flyer won it from White Line Fever, Straw Market behind that, Pomodora who's further back in the field, then it was Golden Chateau who ran in behind that lot in the running of the Investic Dingons of 2011.